1080 degree skirt. hi guys welcome back to my channel this video is actually very fun because i think i've never posted any of my um sewing tutorial out here and today i'm very excited to make this video um today's video is about this um three circle skirt triple circle okay i made this skirt out of three circles so um i actually wanted to make a ball gown and the last time i tried it with a two circle skirt i did not like it that much because it was not not as big as i wanted it to be so i decided to try it with a three circle skirt a thousand and eighty degrees case and guys i really like how this came out like the panels are just popping you hardly believe that this is not um a panel skirt okay i'm so excited and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification button so that you'll be notified anytime i post a new video and this is actually the part one of this video as i'll be showing you guys i'm going to couple up this cake into um a ball dress okay so without wasting much time let me go ahead and show you what exa how exactly i achieved this so first of all i'm going to fold my fabric into four places you know how you fold your fabric when you normally cut a pencil uh, sorry a circle skirt um if you've never tried a circle skirt before all you need to do is to fold your fabric into four and make sure to measure the fabric so that you know exactly where to fold measure what you would like to be um the length of your skirt plus like two inches um so that when you cut out um the part for your waist you will still have um it being as long as you want it so you just measure at that point and fold it up and i'm going to go ahead and pin this down mine i wanted it to be like um 18 19 inches skirt so i i um folded it up at 20 inches i so i actually took um 20 inches and then for the radius that you're going to be cutting out for the waist some people use them two pi r for two circle skirt c equals two pi r with the distance for the circumference of the waist so if you calculate that you have the radius of your skirt but for me i don't do that i actually this is um i folded this fabric into four places okay so since i'll be doing three circle skirts i actually will be having a total of 12 folds so i'm going to be dividing my waist by 12 and whatsoever i have i'm going to try to um span the tape and measure where exactly that could be and i will go ahead Head and mark that place down and i will measure that and take that as my radius i don't know if you understand what i'm saying let me explain that again i say whatever i measure for instance my waist is um 29 so i'm going to be dividing 29 by 12 and whatsoever i have i'm going to um put the tap across the corner and check where what it will give me okay and whatever it give me i will mark down that very point at which it gives me that and then i'll measure it to the corner and that will give me the radius um of my skirt and that will come out my waist circumference so i'm going to go ahead and um trace that out and then i'm going to be marking the length of my skirt okay and that i put a foam right under and i use a needle there is a hole at the um, head of the tape so i'll just pass the needle through the head and pin it down on the on the foam that i placed um under the fabric and i'll use something that has weight and press that point down so that it doesn't shift in that way the tape can rotate freely and easily and that will make it easy for me 
me to be able to dress the length of my skirt in which i'm taking 20 already i've used a 1.25 as my radius that's what the calculation came out at the end of the day if you don't understand this you can go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section i'll go ahead and make another video and show more explanation on what i mean by that but if you're not conversant with my method you can go ahead and try um the circumference equals 2 pi r okay and that will give you um the radius in which you will need to um cut out from the corner so i'm just tracing out my the length of my skirt right now so i'm going to go ahead and just mark it all round and that will give me an arc because this is divided into four so i'll have an arc of a circle okay and then when i've traced it to the end i'm going to go ahead and use my pencil and um dress it uh, out and draw this out so that uh i can then cut it okay i'm really sorry guys my camera is kind of poor and my lighting um marine light marine light is bad so the lighting is kind of poor you can't really see this clearly but i promise you guys i'll go ahead and come back and make probably a demo of this video again okay so i've traced everything out i'm going to go ahead and cut it out with my scissors so i'm just making sure that my measurements are accurate and then yeah guys it's very very accurate so i'm going to go ahead and cut it out with my scissors So after cutting out this very circle, okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut out two more circles because as I said it before, that skirt is made out of three circles. So I'll just trim out the first circle. I will now use the first circle, place it, fold my fabric into four again, place it and cut out my second table circle. And I'm also going to be doing that for the third circle, okay? And when I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to join three circles. Kids, I was kind of finding this funny before because I tried, I'm a self taught designer, you know, so I tried googling how to make a three circle skirt and there was nothing coming up. So, well, I actually just wanted to try and <laughs> Being with my new initiative, I tried it and I think it's going to work, guys. So let's go ahead. I've got the second and the third circle, and I'll go ahead and show you how we can join all this circle together. And you will ask why I'm doing three circles. Three circles will give me a fuller bold gown, like it will give me more panels. Okay, the panel will just pop. It will be more than when you have two circle skates. The former dress I made from a two circle skirt did not give me much panels, and I ended up not liking it because it was not as big as I wanted it to be. Okay, so I decided to try out the third circle. Okay, so I'm cutting out the second circle, and when I'm done cutting out the second circle, I'm going to go ahead and cut the third circle. Probably next time I'll try a four circle skirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys um so these are my circles i've ended up cutting at three circles exactly the same way i cut the first circle so i'm just going to go ahead and spread it, this out and arrange it so that all of them are lined so i will just play around with it till all of them have aligned okay when they align you will see that the circle inside will not have like a fabric coming as will be all round and um, it will just look um neat and all round circle so now i've gone ahead and placed the three circle and aligned them equally so i'm going to go ahead and use my scissor to cut out um one part of the radius i'm going to cut it cut it out or cut it open sorry cut it open i think that's the good english for that i'm going to cut this open okay with a straight line and that's a radius of the circle 
so what I'll do next is that I'm going to take a one of the circle first and I'll go ahead and leave the two circle in which I will join um, this one end of the circle and leave the other side open because I need to join the other circle to the other side so I've run this in my sewing machine and now I'm going to be adding the third circle okay so what I'll just do is that the right side facing the right side I'm going to align the radius of the third circle with the other two circle with the opening of the other circle so I'll open this up and align one radius one in the right side facing the right side I will align it and I'll go ahead and stitch it down straight down and also to the other part of the circle that is left I'm going to align the, this other um, one circle that was left with the other part but this part I won't sew everything I will leave out some parts that will um, be like where the zip will align okay I'll leave out a small space for the zip so let me go ahead and do that come back and show you guys what it looks like so I've gone ahead and I've joined it leaving that um, small space I told you for the zip at one um, corner of the joining so this is the part that i've left open i've joined the down part so let me go ahead and turn this inside out and show you guys what it looks like right now okay so if you actually want to wear it like this you just need to cut the lining exactly the same way and stitch it all together flip it inside out and your skirt will be ready you attach your zip but since i wanted to make a ball gown I will just leave it like this because it won't give me that balloony kind of look. So I'm going to go ahead and attach crinoline. Okay, you just go to the market, say you're looking for crinoline, you can get it anywhere in a sewing shop. Okay, so I'm going to attach this crinoline at the edge of the skirt all round, or should I say the hem of the skirt all round? And I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So um, after attaching the crinoline, this is what it looks like and guys, I won't leave it like this because I can't do it like this, okay? Some people will leave theirs like this but I feel like the form is not really hard, it's not well formed. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and um, pull it down. Actually, I'm holding it because I'm not putting my zip yet so the zip spot is still open. So I'm going to go ahead and measure the half of the skirt. My skirt is like um, 19 inches right now. So I'm going to be measuring half of this and I will be attaching the crinoline at the half space of the skirt, the half length, sorry, of the skirt, okay? So um, if I stretch my tip, I'm having like 19 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut at the nine at the nine of the scale because the crinoline is like one inch so i'm going to be marking around nine inches and i'll be placing my crinoline at the nine inches of the scale which will kind of be the half and i'm going to stitch it all round and when i'm done with stitching i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like Ta-da! So you guys, this is the umbrella you were looking for, okay? This is what exactly I was looking for. If you like to add more crinoline to yours, feel free to add more crinoline. It will be pushing it more out and giving it more form. But me, I'm satisfied the way it is now, so I'll be leaving it like this. So guys, this is exactly how I wish it would be in God. It just came out exactly how I wanted it. So I'm so in love with this guys. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Do well to subscribe to my channel and I'll be leaving the link of how I coupled this skirt into um, a balloon dress in my description box below. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye.